we, we have a good team because it's not the first time we've been playing together. We've been playing together as most of the, some of the guys from primary school. We play right star under 19. So we, basically we have a good understanding with each other as a team on the field of play and off the field of play. That is one of the reasons we decided to come in this tournament because we want the people to see that Kiara could youths could play football. My team is a great team. We have great potential of communist commission and do very good. A long preparation and we just come here and play our best, perform and have fun. Yeah, well, some is under 15 and we're under 19. Well, so we just bring them along to experience the, the games and stuff. Because some of them can they advance for the age, and I think if I bring them and include them to play in certain games, that the, 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 the under 15 coaches could see them and maybe think about them to include them in the under 15 team. You know? And it's a good thing because today some of the under 15 players train with the greater with the under 15 team this morning. So that is one of the key things that we bring under 15, U17 and U20 players. Well, I don't really feel surprised because I know my potential and the other under 15 potential and we can be on this team because the way we play and the way we move, discipline, dedication and determination. So um, I feel good but not so surprised because knowing that we have the potential, I knew we could make the team. How confident are you in probably making it to the under 17 or even the under 19 teams here in Grenada? Well, first of all, I didn't only came down here to win this competition, because we will, but I came down here to try to make the national under 15 to further my footballing car career to go outside Carico and Grenada. How has the development of football been like in Carico? And probably what are some of the areas you'd like to see improve? Well, for the past five years, it's a six years from since the grassroots because some of these are the fruits from the GFA launching that grassroots program in Karaku from 2012, from two, yeah, 2012. So these are some of the um, things. And our objective is to get players from our team, our club, to start playing with teams in Grenada as they grow older to help develop the football. So whenever we have a competition like the one we go last, is it wouldn't be like if we no, so we ain't used to that. We have some players who've been playing down here already. We have the objective as a club. You see, that's the thing. Karaku, the football, we, we need plenty more coaches on the ground for even the grassroots program. We need more coaches. The football starts spreading over the island. But in my opinion, the JFA need to step in and some of the programs, some of the courses they're doing in Grenada, they need to bring some of the courses in Karaku. And because what we do sometimes, we bring down three players, three coaches or two coaches. And when we go back up to Karaku, maybe one or two going in the past year regularly. So I think we, they need to start focusing and think about bringing a, pro, a coaching program for grassroots children in Karaku and spread around the island so the football could grow. So instead of me alone having a club, they could have more than one club in Karaku. That's the only way I see the football could spread more wide and develop faster because these kids end up competition in Karaku really. We play in the senior league. Yeah.